Good morning. I'm Anu Roberts, the Director of Product Marketing for IT Solutions, and this is Peter Kahn, the Senior Director of our Research and Insights Team here at CDK. This morning we're talking about the state of cybersecurity in the dealership. Last fall, Peter and his team, the research team, did a survey and a report around cybersecurity. So Peter, given the importance of cybersecurity um, and the pressures dealers are facing today, um, how important is cybersecurity to the dealership? It's really interesting you asked that question. Um, we've been looking at cybersecurity uh, for probably about seven or eight years, just really focusing on how dealers think about cybersecurity, what they're doing about cybersecurity. Uh, and probably uh, six or seven years ago, we, when we asked dealers where was cybersecurity overall in their framework on how they budgeted money and how they protected themselves, they literally said that we put make balloons and signage more important than cybersecurity. That was six years ago, and that has changed remarkably. So in the survey that you just referenced, 85% um, now say that cybersecurity is very or extremely important to them. Well, that's up significantly from the last survey we did, which was last year, where it was less than half of that. So, so. <laughs> Some audio so, live stream. <laughs> so cybersecurity clearly is really important to dealers. And the question is why? Yeah. Clearly, as we move more and more to online and digital, you know, customers are doing more of the transaction, uh, which is going into the CRM, which is going into the digital retailing tool, which is going to the DMS. That's extremely valuable and important information. And from a dealer perspective, they realize that they need to protect that. Additionally, and we asked dealers, um, you know, what did cyber mean? What did, what did it mean going down to them if they'd been attacked? Uh, and dealers are now saying that that really shuts them down. Um, so we, got, we asked dealers also if they'd been actually hit. Had they experienced a cybersecurity incident? And now this is not going to sound like a big number. 16% said that they had actually um, been a victim of cybersecurity. 16% seems low, but if we're talking about 17,000 rooftops, uh, which is, depending on how you count it, the number of yeah, dealerships in the United good. States, that comes out at 2,700 stores in the, yeah, have been actually hit by a, a cybersecurity attack. So I think about this, you know, I'm, I'm a fisherman. I live in the Pacific Northwest and you know, we've got these schools of salmon and all of a sudden a shark comes through the salmon and all the salmon have to, they just have safety in numbers and that's all they've got. But dealers can't take that risk. They have to protect themselves. They don't want to be just potentially eaten by the shark. Yeah. And so they need to put protection in place and that's what they're thinking about. Especially since, I mean, that's 16% who admitted, right? 16% admitted it. That they've had an attack. So you can imagine that number is probably a, a lot, a significantly higher. I mean, I don't think we can go a week, certainly not a month, without hearing about breaches that are happening, not just in automotive, but just across, you know, the last several years, particularly with the pandemic, there's just been a huge rise of cyber threats. So, um, Peter, tell me how dealers are, um, are they feeling prepared? I mean, how are they feeling about this inc the, the increasing threats? So on one hand, 58% said that they were confident they had the right, right protection in place. Um, but then when you dig deeper into that, it turns out that uh, only a third of them uh, had actually trained their employees to how to deal with a phishing attack, which was the number one threat that dealers said that they're concerned about. 66% said, that's my number one concern. And only one third had, had done their training. So yeah. they're not, they, they're confident, but they're not, right. they really shouldn't be that confident. I mean, interesting dichotomy, right? Because it's, you've got this high confidence level, but yet one of their top threats, email phishing, they're not really training their employees. I mean, only 13%. So it's this sort of, maybe a false sense of security in some ways. Back to the, the <laughs> right. salmon and the shark. Right, <laughs> exactly, exactly. You know, it's interesting. Um, this statistic always um, sticks out in my head. 90% um, of um, attacks that come in, come in through employees. 90%. There's lots of layers of protection that, that, you know, businesses need to do, but starting with your employees is always a really, really great, but that, that's, it's such an astonishing statistic, right? Right, 90%, you don't think about that. So specifically, um, what, what, what are some of the things that um, dealers are putting in place to help minimize their risks? Yeah, great question. So, and you brought up the uh, employees, and we talked about yeah. employee training. Um, they need to do more than just that. Uh, there's a number of things that 
uh, come out from the federal government, which is a checklist of how people need to prepare for security. Um, have, doing backup and having backups off-site is the first thing that you probably should think about. And it turned out 65% you know, of the dealers that responded to the survey said they were doing that. Mm -hmm. I least 35% yeah. who are not. Um, segmenting the network, which is another uh, important cybersecurity action. That is having a network to some extent for your vendors, for your customers, and for the business. Uh, and you mentioned that the employees themselves are right. a, a risk. So having a segmented network is important. I think it was 35% uh, of the dealers we asked we're segmenting their network. Well, it sounds good. I mean, it, you know, that that's a good, you know, some good statistics around, you know, they, they are starting to take measures and um, doing some things. I mean, there's there's definitely gaps there that I think um, they, they can address. You know, it's interesting that when we were talking about the back to the email phishing, you know, as, as we've been talking to a lot of dealers that are, um, you know, putting plans in place is it's not the one one time and done. It's the recurring, like, okay, let's train your employees and let's frankly, kind of test them, you know? I mean, gosh, I could tell you stories, but this this one always um, always is, is astonishing. You know, they had a an ice cream truck that, that um, they, they put outside of a, one of the businesses, and they um, sent a, a phishing email, essentially. They were, they were testing the employees, right? They had just put them through training, and they were testing their employees, and they said, oh, we've um, we brought this ice cream truck for, you know, employee appreciation. And um, you just come downstairs and and take advantage of it. Uh, oh, great! Yeah, a bunch of people went out, and they said, "Oh, we just in order to track it, we just need your employee badge ID number in order to make sure that we can then pay your company that you've gotten the ice cream." Oh, sure, here you go. Right? It's like, you know, failed. You failed. You failed. We just trained you. So it's you know human nature. I mean, it's 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 the psychology of understanding. Like, no, we really need to be diligent and looking at everything that we're seeing. We all get emails and it's kind of funny because I, I, I am very skeptical now. <laughs> I'm like, is this real, is this real? Yeah, definitely not the free ice cream, but you know, there it's, I think the point is, um, I mean, the free ice cream is kind of funny, but um, hackers are getting very sophisticated, very, very, very sophisticated. You know, you've got professionals that frankly are in the IT business that know about cybersecurity and, you know, they fall victim to it as well. So it is complicated. It's not easy, right? So just thinking about this, um, number one, dealers now are educated to the fact that cyber really matters. Again, 85% say this is very or extremely important to them. Number two, 77% say that, that they are much more concerned than they were a year ago, and that will obviously go up again next year. 49% um, said we're going to spend a lot more money on cyber this year than we did last year. So people understand that cyber matters. But they, and some of them again are putting the things in place to protect themselves, but not enough. Like I said, 65% are doing backups, 35% yeah. are segmenting the network, and to your point about training, uh, it was less than 20% were doing training and a lot of folks actually had not done penetration testing, like what the example that you just gave. So they, they're aware, but they need help. Yeah. Uh, and I think possibly that's where we can uh, provide some assistance. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think one of the other um, things that struck me um, as, as we were um, you know, evaluating the, the findings were you know, the top three threats. Um, we obviously mentioned email phishing, but it's you know, ransomware and malware. And as I mentioned, it's complicated. You know, a lot of our um, dealers don't have a full IT staff. They certainly don't maybe have cybersecurity experts. Um, and that's where, you know, having a, a valued partner like CDK um, can really help them, you know, fill those bridge, you know, fill those gaps, um, get them, you know, on a, on a plan um, and a path forward. Um, at CDK, we take a really holistic approach to security. You know, there is no one size fits all. There's no silver bullet. It's very much a what can we do to um, protect the dealers? What can we do to, to prevent what can we do to respond? Because it's not it's really not a matter of if they're gonna be attacked, it's its when. I think there was a, another statistic that, that struck out to me. Um, a business gets attacked um, every 11 seconds. Um, every 11 seconds, like a business in the US is getting attacked. So one of the things, um, in addition to you know these top threats that we talked about, the, the phishing and the malware and the ransomware, is um, also the pressures around compliance. 
you know, they're seeing it at a federal level. Um, there's the FTC safeguards that uh, came out at the end of last year um, that, that applies to pretty much all dealerships, um, except for, you know, really small ones. And they have one year to comply, and that is not an easy an, an, an easy compliance to, um, to to wrangle with. A lot of our dealers are, you know, frankly, you know, needing the help, asking for the help, and so again, you know, having a partnership with somebody like CDK, who is, um, you know, has a team of folks that can help them with their with their cybersecurity preparedness. One of the things that we are offering is a free network security evaluation to help dealers get started with their planning and process, really identifying where they are today, where their gaps may be, um, and really putting a roadmap together as well, um, what they can be doing to, cool. to, to get there. Yeah, so. Well, I appreciate your time, Peter. It was really great Same. talking to you. Marvelous to talk to you about this <laughs> topic as well. Hope to be here next year. And yeah more cybersecurity has been put in place. Yes, and you know, Peter, one of the things that um, I'm excited about as well is that we're gonna make this an annual report and then we'll come, we'll, we'll come back to you hopefully at the next NADA and we'll do this again. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you.